But what's the link between all of the, this ideology and terrorism? Because some people say, yes, there is this extremist ideology, but it's only a small number, a little uh, fringe, a radical fringe that falls into terrorism, perhaps for other reasons. You know, uh, every book that you want to apply blindly can be transformed on a tool, uh, uh, on a war machine. Uh, Sharb, my colleague who was killed, would always give uh, even this example, you know, even a, a cuisine book, if you want to apply it by letter, you know, if you say, a if you book, <laughs> yeah, if you put two spoons of sugar uh, and not three, you deserve being killed. Even a cookbook can be uh, a war book. It depends on how we apply it. The problem with Islam is that uh, uh, the Quran and the Sunnah have been uh, uh, influenced by a Bedouin context 15 centuries ago. I mean, the world, it was totally different. It was a, a, a barbarian uh, world, and we cannot pretend that the rules uh, ruling the society at this time can rule the society now in 2016. No ideology can just uh, 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 erase more than one uh, millennium of civilization, you know? But is that and the cause of terrorism, though? Those who think that the terrorism have nothing to do with Islam are ignorant. They haven't read Islam. They, they, are, they have no culture about the history of violence in Islam. And if they only read the Quran and the Sunnah, they will understand that if we have people who pretend that this religion has to be applied at it, as it was applied at this time, we will have terrorism. Because those who pretend that it is a religion of peace and love, uh, I don't know why Islam is the only religion of peace and love in the world. Huh? Maybe I, 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 no one says that uh, except, uh, except the people who belong to those religions, but I, I, I've heard no one saying in France that Christianism is a religion of peace and love, or that there is any religion of peace and love. So if Islam is a religion of peace and love, maybe should we all convert then? We found the solution for peace in the world, okay? But if we read Islam, if we read its history, if we see how the Prophet uh, uh, committed massacres against the, the Jews, against others, uh, how, we, uh, how he systematically eliminated all his uh, opponents, uh, if we saw how uh, slavery was practiced, uh, if we saw how Islam could expand uh, in certain countries by war and by massacres, if we see how uh, the women are considered in Islam, if we see how Islam practices polygamy, how it allows you to marry with a nine years old girl because the in prophet have, have done it. The Prophet have done it. So the countries who apply the Islam by letter, normally they should allow. They should allow the marriage of nine years old girls. So if we apply that example, we will obtain something that it, that is totally unacceptable now regarding the laws we have today. So the problem is not Islam how it was 15 centuries ago. The problem is the, this ambition that the Islamists have to apply it exactly how it was now in the 21st century. And as long as, we'll, as, uh, as we have people who have that ambition, we will have terrorism. Because if we apply this, these rules, this reality uh, of Islam 15 centuries ago, if we apply it today, this is exactly the definition of terrorism.